as of January 1, 2024. Iran, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Ethiopia, and the United Arab Emirates, have officially joined the BRICS alliance. However, on the flip side, Argentina decided not to join BRICS. So, what exactly happened? And what did the Argentinian president say, to the BRICS leaders? But most importantly, what is the impact of this expansion, on the global geopolitics? Subscribe now. And let's unpack these diplomatic developments. For those of you who might be unfamiliar, let's briefly remind you, on what BRICS is. BRICS is a group of emerging countries, which was formed in 2006, by Brazil, Russia, India, and China, with South Africa joining in 2010. They've been carving their own path, in the global landscape, often seen as a counterbalance, to the West. During its 15th summit, held in Johannesburg, South Africa, the BRICS leaders announced a major expansion, inviting six new members, who consisted of, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Ethiopia, and the United Arab Emirates, including Argentina, to join the BRICS alliance. This was a big deal, marking BRICS's growing influence, on the global geopolitics, as well as on international economic affairs. And as indicated, from 1 January 2024, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Ethiopia, and the United Arab Emirates, officially joined the BRICS alliance. While Argentina opted not to join. Let's now discuss, the global implications, of this development. The newly expanded BRICS, has a combined population of about, 3.5 billion people. With a combined economy, worth over $28.5 trillion. Which is about, 28% of the global economy. According to some reports, the inclusion of these new countries, signifies a notable shift, in the global landscape, which might challenge the established Western-led economic order. And increase the BRICS members' influence in regions traditionally dominated, by Western countries. It could also lead to a more diverse set of perspectives, within BRICS, which will help address a wider range of global issues. For the new members, joining BRICS, signifies a commitment, to fostering economic cooperation, political dialogue, and mutual support. This move could potentially open up new avenues, for trade, investment, and technological collaboration, among these nations. It also reflects a shift in alliances, and a desire to play a more influential role, in shaping global policies. Now, turning our attention to Argentina's decision, not to join BRICS. This choice, might suggest a different geopolitical alignment, for Argentina. In his letter to the BRICS leaders, the Argentinian's president, Javier Malay, acknowledged the previous government's decision, to join BRICS. But politely highlighted that his current administration's foreign policy, differs in many aspects, from that of the previous government. He further emphasized that, the moment is not opportune, for Argentina's full membership. Despite this rejection, Malay expressed his desire for constructive cooperation, with BRICS countries, in areas of mutual interest. This might indicate an intention or willingness, for future partnerships. It will however be interesting, to observe how this decision, impacts Argentina's relationships and collaborations, on the global stage. In conclusion, the formal inclusion of Iran, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Ethiopia, and the UAE, into BRICS, marks a significant geopolitical shift. While this move might bring about, exciting opportunities for cooperation, it might also come with its own set of challenges. The cultural, political, and economic diversity within BRICS, could lead to differences in priorities and approaches. However, if managed effectively, this diversity can become a strength, fostering innovation and resilience. The next BRICS summit is scheduled to be held in Russia, around October 2024. It is reported that over 20 countries, have either formally applied to join BRICS, or have expressed interest in joining. This means that, there could be many more developing countries, being inducted or announced, during the 16th summit. So, what are your thoughts, on these developments? Let us know, by leaving us a comment, below this video. And don't forget to like, and share this video. And remember to subscribe, for more updates, for more on BRICS, 
and other global organizations, as well as, other matters relating to international affairs, please take time to check out these other videos, under this channel. As always, don't forget to like this video, and subscribe to our channel, for more content. And remember to turn on the notification button, to make sure that you don't miss out, when we post new videos. You can also connect with us, by following us on social media, at Consult Kano. And continue the conversation, by leaving us a comment below. Or tagging us on social media, using the hashtag, Consult Kano. Thank you again for watching. Join us again next time, for another video. Until then, check out these other videos. Kano Consultants. For professional advice, you can trust.